it's Thursday. So this week my patrons got to vote and they decided that what they wanted to make was a little rat. Let's get into it. All right, let's talk about tools and materials. So to make your rat today, you're going to need eight ply, 100% acrylic yarn in two colors. So you're going to need a main rat color and some pink for his hands, feet, and ears. You're also going to need a pair of nine millimeter safety eyes, your 3.5 millimeter hook, scissors, pins and needles, and some stuffing. So a written version of today's pattern will be sent out to my patrons and will also be made available on my Etsy. I will leave links to both in the description down below for anybody who is interested. Okay, so here is our little rat friend today. And I've got mine just working on a little bit of crochet to help me catch up with some missed deadlines there, but I'm going to show you how to make a little strawberry for him to hold today instead. So because we touch everything in the round as we go, we need to make his ears, arms and feet before we get started on the main rat today. So we're going to start with his ears. So grab your pink and make a magic ring of six. Mate, I know you could do it better. I'm doing my best, okay? Just like that. We're then going to work three repeats of a single crochet and an increase to get us up to nine stitches around. Should be this little vaguely triangular shape. We are then going to work a single crochet three together so all I do is slip my hook into the front loop of the next three stitches, yarn over and pull up a loop through all three. So leaves me with two on my hook, then yarn over again and complete the stitch. So you'll see that that's caused our little ear to curl over and I've just popped it in the right way. I'm then going to finish off. So that last stitch isn't a complete round, obviously. So we have our starting tail here and I meant to stitch over the top of it, but I forgot, so that's fine. Uh, instead, all I'm going to do is use my hook to weave that in and out of the rows of the stitches until it's in the same place as our finishing off tail, and that's going to make that easier to tuck away and hide later. So you're going to go ahead and make two little ears. And pop those to one side. Okay, so next up we're going to be making his arms. Now his arms start at the little paw in our pink, and then we change to our main rat colour to work up the rest of the arm. So once again, grabbing our pink, we're going to start with a magic ring of four. So we've got just four tight little stitches around. We are then going to work one single crochet. We're then going to work three single crochet into the back loop only. So looking down at our stitch, we have the front loop closest to us and the back loop furthest away. So I'm going to work a single crochet into the back loop of the next three stitches. So what that's doing is leaving the front loops free, basically to give him just a little bit more definition to his paw. So if you're finding that a little bit tricky to do, just work regular single crochet through both loops, you'll just get a slightly less defined hand on your rat. Now in the final stitch of those back loop stitches, we need to change to our rat color. So I've just frogged that one there and we're going to do our color change now. So all you do is insert your hook through the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop, hold your pink out of the way, grab a strand of the yarn you're changing to. For me today, I'm gonna to be making a little white rat. Yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook to finish that single crochet. And you tug on the tails a little bit just to squish that stitch down so that it looks nice. So what you'll see there is we have a complete single crochet in our pink with our white on our hook ready to go. So we're just going to work four single crochet around through both loops in our white. So there we go. I'm going to trim off my pink at this point so you can actually see what I'm doing. Just tuck any of those tails down into the hand. There we are. So there we are at the end of round three. So round four, we are going to increase and then work three single crochet. Then round five, we're going to single crochet, increase, and then three single crochet to get us up to six. 
We're then going to work two repeats of an increase and then two single crochet to get us up to eight stitches in our round. And then one final row of eight single crochet. And finish off. So we're not going to be stuffing this piece at all, but when we go to attach it, we will be stitching through two layers of the arm and one layer of the body. So you can squish it flat now into four pairs of stitches and your finishing off point should fall into sort of the middle of one of your flat sides. And we're going to need two arms exactly the same. Pop those to one side. So finally, before we start our rat proper, we just need to make two little feet for him. Once again in our pink, we're going to start with a magic ring of six. We're then going to work six single crochet around. Then a decrease and four single crochet. And finally a decrease and then three single crochet. And I promise you that's the last time we have to work on a piece that narrow. Finish off. So once again, we're not stuffing this piece, but you can tuck these little tails down inside, which will help it hold its shape a little bit. So there is one little bunny slipper and two little bunny slippers. So we have four stitches remaining in each of those rounds. We're gonna use those stitches to attach into the round later on in our rat. So pop those to one side. So now we have all of the pieces that we need. We are going to start our main rat piece. So our main ratty friend starts at the tip of his nose. Then we work up the head, attach the ears into the round. We work up the neck, attach the arms, work up the main trunk of the body and attach the feet. And then we work all the way down to the tip of his tail. And I would just like to acknowledge, I'm aware that this is a rather short tail, but I will let you know how to modify the tail for a longer version when we get to that point in the pattern. But for now, we're going to grab our main ratty color and work up the first eight rows of the head. So there we are at the end of row eight. And what we've worked up there is his nose and most of his head. So in row nine, we're going to be attaching his ears. Now this next step can easily be accomplished without the use of stitch markers, but for everybody out there who prefers to use them, I'm going to be using them today. So on your ears, what you need to do is identify your finishing off point. On both ears, we'll be marking the first stitch after the finishing off point. So mark both of those now. So in both of these cases, we'll be starting in the marked stitch. So I'm going to start this row by working three single crochet to get around to where we want the first ear to start. I'm then going to grab ear one and I'm going to face it right side against the head so that the marked stitch lines up with the next stitch of the head. I no longer need this little stitch marker. So I'm going to insert my hook through one layer of the ear and into the next stitch of the head. And I'm going to work a single crochet. So that's the first stitch attaching out here and we're going to work two more stitches around working through both layers. So that's two. And that's three. So now if you fold your ear out, you should see that it is fully attached to the head. Now I've worked over the top of those tails so that they ended up inside the head. But if yours are on the outside, just use your hook, poke it through the head and pull them through to the inside now. So we're then going to work three single crochet across what will become his forehead. Like so we're then going to grab our second ear and we're going to attach it in the exact same way. So line up the marked stitch with the next stitch of our head remove our marker and then single crocheting through both layers, attach the ear. Like so. So now you should have both of your little ears attached. So then we just need to finish our round. So we work three single crochet to get back to our starting point. So now your ears are both attached. They will stick out quite a bit at this point in the project. And during the details section of this video, I will show you how to get them to sit back against the head like they do on this fellow. 
So we now have four rows to work to curve the neck and get to where we want to attach the arms. So row 10 is four single crochet. And then we single crochet three together across the back of that ear. Just the same way we did when we were making the ear itself. One single crochet into the forehead and then another single crochet three together. We're then going to work one single crochet and then we're going to swap to front post single crochet for a couple of stitches. Now the reason for this is it's going to help pull the head down a little bit. So like this guy here. If you don't like front post single crochet, you can just work regular single crochet here. It will just mean that your rat is looking slightly further up. So front post single crochet is worked around the stem of the stitch instead of through the loops. So normally we would insert our hook across the top like this, but when working in front post single crochet, we insert our hook around the stem like this. And we call it front post rather than back post because we start at the front and then we end at the front. So you can just yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and complete your single crochet. So that's our first one. Then we're going to work two more to finish this row. Like so. Then row 11 starts with three more front post single crochet. So that is the underside of his chin now clearly marked. And we're just going to finish row 11 by working six single crochet. And then two increases. Now your piece is going to look a little asymmetrical at the end of your rows for a little while now. So you're just going to have to trust the process when it looks a bit strange. So here we are at the end of row 11 and we should have 13 stitches in our round. 13. We do, good. So we're going to stop at this point and insert our eyes. So by this point, you should be able to easily identify the top versus the bottom of your head. So the top has the ears and the bottom has this sort of little flap that's starting to form that will be built out into his chest. So counting back from the tip of the nose, the eyes go into row five. One, two, three, four, five. We drew a line between the inner part of the ear and the tip of the nose. The edge of the eye should just line up with that. So on this other side, I need to adjust this eye slightly. So keep in mind that that is just a starting point and you should then move your eyes around until it looks like a rat to you. <laughs> I think I'm going to put mine there. So when happy, we're going to snap our backs on. Like so. And at this point, we can also tuck a little bit of stuffing down into the tip of his nose as well. So with that done, you can work the next three rows to continue building up the neck. So there we are at the end of whatever row this is. <laughs> so here we are at the end of row 14. So you should have 18 stitches available in your round and your neck should be curving down at a bit of an angle. So if you grab your arms now, we're going to be attaching them next. So as mentioned, they should be squished flat already with your finishing off points laying in the middle of one of your flat sides on each of them. So we're going to start row 15 with a single crochet and then an increase. And then grab one of your arms. Now these arms are the same basically from whatever angle you look at them. So it doesn't really matter how you line this next step up, but basically you just want to line the open end of your arm with its four pairs of stitches up with the next four stitches of the body. And we're going to work our hook through both layers of the arm and the next stitch of the body and work four single crochet to fully attach it. Just like so. That arm has now been completely sealed and attached to your rat. So we're going to work two single crochet and then a decrease and then three single crochet before grabbing our second arm once again, just lining up the open end of it with the next four stitches of the body and then working four single crochet through all three layers. You can, of course, choose to sew them on afterwards, in which case just work the four single crochet into the body. We then just need to work one increase to finish our round. So your head might tilt off a little bit as well. See how mine is kind of at a little bit of a crook? That's okay as you can grab it, twist it back where it goes. <laughs> that is what we currently look like. 
So from here, you can work up the next seven rows to build up the trunk of the body before we're ready to attach the feet. So there we are at the end of row 22. We should have 30 stitches in our round and most of our rat is done. So in the next row, we are going to be attaching his little feet. And we're going to start by working six single crochet to get around to where we want the first foot to be attached. Then grab either one of your feet and just line it up so that its opening is against the next two stitches of the body. And there is no right or wrong way to rotate this foot. We are just going to stick our hook through both layers of the foot. So there's four stitches on top and I've got my hook through two of them and then into the body and work a single crochet and then through the other two stitches of the foot and the next stitch of the body and once again work a single crochet so that foot is now attached and then 20 single crochet around to get to where the second foot needs to go so grab your other foot and we're going to attach it the exact same way two layers of the foot and one layer of the body which brings us to the end of our round with his feet now attached. So we are going to take a moment just to stuff our rat. And as per usual, we're going to tear our stuffing into cotton ball sized puffs and insert them one at a time, making sure to get into all of the nooks and all of the crannies. Now, as we work to close this opening off, you should add more stuffing as you need to make sure that your rat is nice and puffy. So you can go ahead and work up the next six rows of your rat now, which should work to close off the butt and lead us into the tail. Changing to our pink in the last stitch of row 29. So there we are. The main body of our rat is all worked up and now all we have left to do is the tail. So for the tail, as I mentioned earlier, you may want a longer version of this tail. So what I, what I will tell you is that while we build in two main curves, Anywhere that we are doing just straight rows of six single crochet around, you can go ahead and add just as many rows as you need to into those sections. So the tail starts with four rows of six single crochet each for a combined total of 24 stitches. Now you can add as many rows of six single crochet into this as you need to, to get the length that you want. So there I am at the end of the four rows that I'm going to do. And we're now going to build the first turn into our tail. And we do that by loading increases on one side and decreases on the other. So it starts with an increase. Then two single crochet. And then a decrease. And then a single crochet to finish the row. So if you look at it very carefully, you'll be able to see that that's taking us off to one side. And we're going to work a second row to just lock that in. So there is the first little bend in our tail. We are now going to work two rounds of six single crochet around. So another opportunity for you to add some length if you would like. And we're basically just going to work four more rows to get to the end of the tail and finish off. And we're just going to take our remaining piece of yarn and tuck it through the front loops only of the remaining six stitches. And pull tight to close. You can choose to taper yours off a little bit more than that, but I promised I wasn't going to make you work a tube of four stitches around. So we kept it to six the whole way along. So we're gonna grab our pink and stitch on a small patch at the top of your starting magic ring to form the nose. Then we're going to fold each of the ears back against the head and using some more of our pink, stitch them down into that position.
We are then going to grab our white and use it to indent our eyes a little more. Now this step is entirely optional, but I does think it helps shape his head. So now that's all that's left is to give him something to hang on to. So on screen at the moment is the pattern for the little basic strawberry that I made, but you can feel free to hand him just about anything. So we start in our green with a magic ring of six. Then in each front loop around, we work a pico and then a slip stitch. So a pico is when we chain three and then work a slip stitch into the first chain that we made. We then slip stitch into the next front loop. All right, so it looks like I've single crocheted a couple of times instead of slip stitching in the video, but please know that slip stitching is what you should be doing. As you can see, it doesn't make a huge difference to the final piece. So depending on your preference, you can then change to your red yarn or just reattach it into the back loops of row one. We are then going to work an increase into each one of those back loops. So that gets us a new round of 12 single crochet that we're going to use to form our strawberry. You can trim off your green at this point. Just pulled our starting tail through to form the stem. From there you can work the remaining rows of the strawberry, stopping to stuff after the second last row. So there is our juicy strawberry. To attach it to your rat, simply pin each paw to the berry and then pose however you prefer. I decided that I like mine best with the strawberry slightly off to one side. You can then use a little of your pink yarn to stitch both of his hands to the berry, which will hold it in place. And there is your finished rat. So. There is our finished rat. I hope you had fun making him with me today. I kind of want to turn my spare strawberry into an earring. Might be a bit big. And also just a huge thanks to everybody on the Discord who sent me photos of their pet rats just to help inspire me to make this little guy. But other than that, I will see you next week. Okay, bye.